Well, good morning. So today I have Chetan with us, who is a software engineering technical evangelist and a leader, who is also a strategist, leader, mentor of electronic arts. He is a leader who has a strong sense of ownership and responsibility towards customer satisfaction, because at the end of the day, it's the customers that you're serving. And if you're not serving your customers, if you're not satisfying them, your customers are more likely to go towards other people. He also likes to balance business goals, technical implications, and time to, um, and also focuses on making sure that the company that he works with goes towards success. Let's welcome Chetan on 10 Minutes of Hiring Wisdom, where he will tell us about what he has learned along the way and how we can implement those learnings in our day-to-day lives. Hi, Chetan, how are you doing? Hi, thanks, Meena. Um, uh, happy New Year to you and uh, all who might be listening and watching to this. Um, of course. I'm currently, I'm currently working with uh, Wayfair. I transitioned my a uh, job from electronic arts to Wayfair beginning of this year, and it has been an excellent transition. Um, I am an engineer, um, so I have stuck to software engineering uh, throughout my career. Although having said that, my um, undergraduation or bachelor's is in electronics engineering, uh, which is, close to uh, computer science, but then um, I had to learn a lot of things along the way. Um, and and so my advice is if you, if you want to be a computer engineer, go for computer science. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, the reason I say is uh, because uh, there's a, there's a stereotype or uh, like a, almost like a cliche that I hear that uh, people these days are uh, choose opting to either be a computer science engineer or uh, or, or a, a medical profession. Um, that's that's more so in Asian countries and, and, and the country where I come from, which is India. Um, but uh, we really need to think about what engineering means. Engineering is not like a um one it's it's very vast like there are multiple domains you could be serving if you're an engineer like a computer engineer can be working in the healthcare industry they can be working in uh, um, space explorations they can be working with retailers so so really it's um it's uh, the world is your oyster so that's it's, that's what, that's uh, what i have to say about yeah no, no, that sounds wonderful. And you mentioned that you recently transitioned into a role with Wayfair. So I'd like to hear about what caused you to transition and leave your previous role, because a lot of people these days are open to transferring, open to changing their career. So what was your reasoning behind switching companies? Yeah, uh, the very uh, obvious reason is the market is uh, very good right now. Um, <laughs> employers, there's a, there's always this gap between employers seeking good talent and talent wanting to move up. Uh, their career and do something different. So I had been with Electronics Art for three years and uh, this opportunity from Wayfair came uh, my way. I saw breadth uh, in the opportunity uh, that it presented and uh, it prom- it had a promise of uh, letting me spread my wings across the across the engineering uh, domains I was working on. So um, not only that, I would also be working for the first time in a retail uh, sector and especially on sales. So each time, each time you, you switch a job, you become a domain expert in a, in a certain domain. So for example, at Electronic Arts, I learned a lot about uh, gaming industry, how it works. Before that, I was uh, with Accenture, so I learned a lot about healthcare in Accenture. Now I'm learning a lot about sales, how big sales companies and their sales panel operate. So that's that's a primary motivator. And also, um, I I think I think that um, my philosophy is never stop preparing for interviews. So. That's also one of the reasons I landed uh, um, at Wayfair is because you keep constantly updating yourself and improving yourself and be on the lookout and then opportunity will find you instead of you seeking the opportunity. So 
that sounds that's amazing because I think I recently read about it that um you should always be applying for jobs even when you're not seeking because that's the best time. Yeah. So it's yeah. definitely um really useful because these days you never know how an opportunity might knock on your door even when you're not looking and certainly that was your case because you decided to spread your wings, you decided to broaden your horizons and you're working at a company that you're passionate about. So it's definitely amazing to see how you move from a healthcare industry to a gaming industry and now you're working for a sales industry. So it worked out well for you. So congratulations. My next question for you Chetan would be um How is your experience going at Wafer? Is your company hiring? What kind of positions are open? So people that are seeking and listening to this and have an idea regarding what to look for and whether to apply or not. Yeah, um absolutely. Um I I have I have only good things to say about Wafer for uh, all the job seekers out there. Uh it is a great company with a great culture, but uh I will say this, uh it has a lot of work to be done. <laughs> um, not where it, it it's not where it's it it wants to be and that is a good thing um if if you get into a mature um industry or a mature company where everything is done uh you, you might find yourself uh, getting bored or uh doing things that um may be repetitive and routine Uh, that's not the case with Wayfair. Um, in addition, the culture is amazing. Um, like uh, you own your career and trajectory. So, and and that is supported by the excellent leadership at um, Wayfair. Um, so, yeah, if you find uh, openings at uh, Wayfair, please join. I mean, I vouch two hundred percent. Can you specify regarding what kind of positions are open? Like, for example, what kind of positions might be open within your department? Any specific specifications would be really useful. Yeah. Um. So, uh, in my, I work in the sales engineering department. So, um, senior, uh, senior engineers, um, and my group specifically is looking for uh, people with some uh, knowledge of Salesforce. Um. Again. the uh, the thing that i i emphasize uh, to our recruiters is also we are looking for good engineers um so uh, my my suggestion again to job seekers would be um sharpen or brush up on your fundamentals um don't focus on the technology look the problem uh, the technology is a tool to solve a problem and technology in itself is not the problem you want to solve so yeah you're very poetic chetan i can say that you're very poetic and i love the way you wrap up things it's definitely really useful but thank you so much for sharing that thank you so much for coming on the show for sharing about your company wafer is definitely very lucky to have you and i can i am sure that wafer will go places with a leader like you with next company thank you so much likewise um uh, just w- one one thing i wanted to add we just opened up offices in austin um so we are hiring to fill up our austin offices so um, okay sounds I good austin, so yeah. so if you're in austin you know where to apply thank you so much ethan thank you, thank you.